Has it ever happened to you that you feel like you haven't really done a lot of work and then you step back, look at what you've done and it's just like, I've done that, 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 and that. Yeah, that's basically the premise of today's video. So hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing well today. My name is Poison Blades and today we're building a circular souvenir shop because everything in EVE 2 has to be around in some way. And I'm building an info desk. But most importantly, today I'm building strollers because... Evesu has been missing strollers and I got into a weird headspace and just kept building strollers. Or kept working on them. But anyways, don't forget to hit the like button because it does help out a lot with the algorithm. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And let's get started with insanity. <laughs> so when it came to the souvenir shop, this is basically the case of finally I can do this. Because the souvenir shop, the reference image that I used from the dark hell spot that is Pinterest. Pinterest is, is great for inspiration, but also a lot of times I will just find myself scrolling through Pinterest, looking for inspiration and forgetting what I was looking for and just scrolling for another hour. But when it came to the souvenir shop, I had the reference image for basically since the start of Evesu and I could finally work on it. Because, I mean, we've done two habitats with the deer and the goats. And so it felt like it was time to build another building. And the souvenir shop, I, like, I had the entire layout of, like, where it was going to go and such completely mapped out. I kind of just wanted the souvenir shop to obstruct the main part in a way. Because... Then it's just completely in your field of vision. You can't get around it. Well, you have to get around it. But because it's just obstructing, like, well, not really obstructing. It's kind of off the side of the main part. But if you go, like, if you want to go home or anything, like, if you are leaving the zoo, you are going to see the souvenir shop. And that might make you want to buy stuff. Because, again, Eve Zoo is a zoo. It has to make a profit. And also, what's the... Just, like, every souvenir shop when it comes to zoos so far has been just filled with plushies. I didn't buy, or did buy... Well, I bought plushies recently, but not from a zoo. I'm still waiting for my FNAF plushies. According to the link that's the... I don't know, the delivery company sent me. They first were arriving the 25th of December, now they're arriving the 27th. Both of these days are in the past, so we will just see when they arrive. But when it comes to Zeus, the main like souvenir thing, at least the main one that I'm always interested in, is plushies. Yes, I just like plushies. I have two red panda plushies that I bought three years ago, but then I'm also kind of just... It's just a, like a miracle, actually. That I haven't built a red panda habitat yet for Eve Zoo. I started with a lemur habitat. That would have been an amazing red panda habitat. I might actually now want to change that because I'm a little bit obsessed with red pandas because they are lazy chaos bundles of floof. That came out very correctly, but yeah. I just love red pandas. I also love fennec foxes. I just basically love anything that's kind of small and fluffy but then i also like ladybugs and bees <laughs> tarantulas as long as they're hairy i will like i think i'm going to keep it for the next video because it will make even less sense then but all of the insect talk i will keep that probably for next video because again i find it just really funny to make a voiceover that in no way makes sense when it comes to the video <laughs> Today, I'm trying to make a bit sense when it comes to like, oh, this is the souvenir shop and the plushies are, bought, are sold in a souvenir shop. But when it comes to next year, I'm just like, yes, chaos. I have chosen chaos. Uh, which actually makes me think of the end story. But uh, anyway, back to the actual building. What was I talking about again? I have no idea really. So like this is also like just honest, straightforward talk. It's actually easier for me to like edit a voiceover when it's in no way connected to the video. Because I don't have to think about like, oh, 
the audio is out of sync with the visual. If the voiceover doesn't make any sense when it comes to the video, it actually is easier because I don't have to worry about that. But it's also just funny to me. <laughs> like, you, like, I always have this idea and please tell me if this actually works. But I always have this idea that like, when you watch my videos, you basically get two stories. You get the visual and then sometimes you get a, a voiceover that kind of works with it. Most of the time it doesn't. So I kind of have the idea of like, huh. You could sometimes probably watch my videos or listen to my videos and have a completely different idea of what the video is about. But yeah, anyway, back to the actual souvenir shop because... Ooh. So, I, when it comes to the souvenir shop, it was basically just round on round. Everything is round in Eve 2. Well, not everything. I actually, like, this is the funny thing when it came to the souvenir shop. I wanted it to look very friendly on the outside and just like very intimidating on the inside. Like it lures you in and then as soon as you get inside you're just like, I'm not worthy of this place. Or I'm just too poor for this place. I think I got a little bit carried away with like the cyberpunk in, well interest no, what is the word for it again? Inspiration, that is it. I also, because Eve Zoo is supposed to be like this very modern and I actually wanted to become a little bit more futuristic, like not like far in the future, like I'm not talking Star Wars or anything. I haven't even watched any of the Star Wars movies in full, so I wouldn't be able to build anything when it comes to Star Wars or Star Trek or anything when it comes to futuristic sci-fi stuff when it comes to movies. Yes. I know that I should probably watch at least one Star Wars movie, but I'm more interested in watching James Bond. That says a lot. But yeah, I wanted Eve Zoo to become a slightly more like futuristic, more like 20, 30 years, at max 50 years in the future, Eve Zoo would exist. I also, for some reason, start thinking like, huh, where in the Netherlands would Eve Zoo be located? I merely thought around Utrecht. Which, yes, is a city in the Netherlands. It's kind of like, I always think it's like right in the center of the Netherlands. So it's probably a city that you have never heard about because it's not Rotterdam or Amsterdam or The Hague. Yes, there exists more to the Netherlands than just Amsterdam for any of your touristy people here. We're not all high and just completely out of it. At least that's the image that Amsterdam would give you, but then Amsterdam is basically a tourist trap made into a city. <laughs> but anyway, so when I came to the souvenir shop, everything was around. I gave it the skylight just because why not? If, like in the reference, the souvenir shop had basically a terrace up on the roof, but I didn't want to think about like how am I going to make this work with the parting? So I just gave it the skylight just to have something on the roof. And then when it came to the interior, uh, I mean, you will see that because I'm working on interiors. I'm getting better at them. But anyway, to the souvenir shop, the building which I didn't build an interior. <laughs> or at least I wanted to build an interior and then the case happened of like, huh, I don't feel like I've done that much. Looks at all of the footage. Oh. Yes, I spent basically half a week on everything. Maybe I should stop here and, you know, do all of the other stuff. Like, the interior for the info desk is going to be very, like, minimalistic. For some reason, I had, like, a funny thing when it came to the lights, which I also then reused in the souvenir shop. But, yeah, the info desk doesn't have an interior yet. Although, this is definitely the place where I... I later put the strollers, like I put an entire, like, build an entire section just for, like, stroller rental, because of course you're going to have to pay for this, like, Eve Zoo is a zoo, it has to make a profit, so, when it comes to the souvenir shop, it's just built just in such a way that when you want to leave the zoo, you can't really get around it, you are going to see it, and you might be tempted to go inside. And then just the funky thing of like the windmills in front because of course it's the Netherlands. I'm Dutch. I can't go without building windmills, alright? 
Windmills are in my blood, just as bicycles are, and... Cheese? I actually don't really like cheese. Fish? Also not really. I'm like, when it comes to food, I'm just really anti-Dutch, basically. I don't like a lot of Dutch, like stereotypical Dutch food, I would say. Although, if you don't like stroop waffles, I will hunt you down. Because you are not a human being. I refuse to believe that anybody dislikes stroop waffles. If you do dislike them, again, I will hunt you down. Because you're an alien. So, uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, back to what we're building. I'm definitely not ordering a hitman to hunt down everybody who dislikes stroop waffles. Anyway, um, <laughs> back to what we're building. Uh, so, when it came to the stroller, like... Basically just the info desk, this is where you would get strollers. But also, I would assume that you would get, like, if you were in need of a wheelchair. Although, the train of thought that I also had, and please tell me if I'm wrong. But the wheelchairs here will probably be, like, for emergencies. Because, like, most people who would be or are in a wheelchair would arrive with a wheelchair. But in any case, if you need a wheelchair, you could go to this place. Although I didn't make like a section for the wheelchairs as I did with like the strollers. Because I would assume that a lot more people would be using strollers than wheelchairs. And then also you're going to have like the Karens who want a wheelchair just because their kid wants. And then that makes it so that the wheelchairs, if they are needed, aren't there because the Karens have taken them all. I might have been watching a little bit too much in Reddit. So basically, you need to ask for a wheelchair, but you can just like beep boop into a machine that I built to near the front of the strollers to get a stroller. So yeah, at least that was my train of thought. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because if I sound even slightly informational or if I'm talking about like wheelchair accessibility and such, Take it with a pinch of salt, especially when it comes to like wheelchair accessibility and just accessibility in EVE 2 in general. Please tell me if I'm doing stuff wrong, because I'm ignorant when it comes to that. I don't know a lot of stuff when it comes to accessibility and such. I was actually also thinking like, this is like, please don't hate me for asking this, but do blind people go to zoos? Like I was thinking of like making... Eve's who are also accessible to blind people. But then I was thinking like, yeah, they're not going to have that much use of it because like animals, like you can hear them, but like it's mostly visual. I would assume that like if you are blind and want to go to a zoo, it's mostly because you want to go with like friends and such. Again, like, please let me know how to like make Eve's who vision impaired, accessible, blind. I don't, I don't know. Again, like, please don't hate me for this. I know I'm being ignorant here. But I legitimately don't have any blind people in, like, my social circle. So I wouldn't know anything. And I just, I want to learn. <laughs> and I should probably just look this up. But anyway, now that I probably have a mob against me, let's talk further about the stroller rental area because here is just my train of thought i think eve zoo is for me actually too realistic or at least too contemporary i would say like i want eve zoo to be slightly more futuristic slightly more like 20 30 maybe 50 years in the future at most because a lot of buildings are at least in the Netherlands, and at least from like what I know so far, a lot of things are built with the mindset of like, oh, 30, 50 years in the future, it would still need to work. And also, usually it takes 30 to, yeah, well, actually, it takes around 30 years for any plan to actually be like approved and go to all of the paperwork and bureaucracy to get actually built. So, if if so, like it should just kind of feels a little bit too, I don't know. Like I kind of want Eve Sue to be how I think it's Epcot or just like basically um, there's this thing like attraction or area in Disney where they were like, oh, this is how the world's going to look, 
50 years from now. I kind of want Iwushu to kind of be like that, but then set in like 50 years from now and not 50 years from like the 80s or the 70s. I kind of want to do that. I also just like to just build futuristic stuff. I really want to get back into Cyberpunk, but I'm waiting to basically get a DLC. <laughs> yes, I'm waiting to start playing Cyberpunk 2070. 2077 again until there's a DLC because I found Cyberpunk a bit boring yeah <laughs> uh, but then the other major inspiration for Eve Zoo is probably going to be Anno 2070 which I I'm going to say this I think that Anno 2070 is the best futuristic Anno game in the Anno series to Anno 2250 that's not how you say that date but we're going to roll with it i would say visually looks better but gameplay wise i find 2070 a lot more interesting and then there's of course anno 1800 which is so far just amazing so yeah i also because a lot of futuristic stuff i made an art piece because of course eve zoo has art pieces that just look very futuristic but when it came to like all of the references, because I want Isu to be slightly more futuristic than it has been so far. Uh, yeah, a lot of it is skyscrapers, which is not useful in a zoo. Although it does tickle that sense or that tickle that idea of like, hey, let's build a town, which I need to avoid. Although I've also been looking at like historic windmills. I mean... It's Izu, it's set in the nuns, there's going to be a windmill at least somewhere in the zoo. So yeah, making things futuristic doesn't mean that you need to forget the past. Izu would probably have a windmill and would have it be like a sort of, not centerpiece, but would have it as a landmark feature. Because it would be a historic windmill and also it's just a crap show to try and change an historic building here in the Netherlands. So it's easier to just renovate it and just try and work with it than tear it down for something new. So yeah, Eve Zoo is going to have a windmill at one point. Now we're building the interior of the souvenir shop though. Yeah, I didn't want the souvenir shop to be friendly in any sort of way. I was really just like black, burnt or just orange because orange is the color of Eve Zoo. I had this brief thing of like using the reindeer or just the deer lights that the Europe pack gave us but then I was just like this looks too friendly also it looks kind of weird so I eventually deleted the, those lights and I did put plushies in the shop because like that's one of the main things at least from what I know when it comes to zoo souvenir shops it's like there's so many plushies <laughs> but I didn't make these plushies myself so I am going to put the one who made these plushies down in the description actually this is a thing that i'm doing with eve zoo in general every blueprint that i've been using i put in the description just because well then you can find them so if you see something and are uh, like i am very bad at making blueprints <laughs> i constantly forget but when i am using blueprints i want to make sure that that I don't give the illusion of like, oh, I made these myself. No, I use these blueprints because people in the workshop are a lot better at making actually like modern, realistic stuff than I am. However, I did want to make my own stroller because I just, the ones that I found on the workshop, I'm not saying that they're bad, they're just not the style that I want for Eve Sue. So I spent an entire morning, which was three hours, Building strollers. Although I eventually have had some fun when it came to the color of the strollers. And yeah. Eventually you will see how I've set the strollers up. And you might recognize the pattern. <laughs> I just had fun with it. Because hey, Ivzo is all about accessibility, quality, and just every day. Yes. I made the strollers line up to form the rainbow flag, <laughs> because why not? Anyway, so when it came to the strollers, I wanted to basically have this sort of, well, basically have a stroller that you would actually be able to use 
or would see outside of a zoo as well because usually zoo like the solars that you see in zoos are very very themed to like that zoo they also usually don't really look that comfortable not that i've sit in a stroller in my adult years but i mean you can just sometimes look at something and just see like that just looks uncomfortable so yeah i didn't want to use any of the strollers that i saw in the workshop just because they weren't really the style that i was going for and in the end i'm so happy with it because i really like how the strollers turned out they might be a little bit clunky because again like it's Building small stuff in plants which just usually is very difficult. This is also why when it comes to like plushies and some other stuff that I've been downloading for, from the workshop. It's just like, how do you do that? And also, like nobody can beat the plushies that that person made. I have the mind of a goldfish. I forgot the name, <laughs> but I'm going to put it in the description the blueprints that i've used and so everything that when it comes to blueprints that i'm using for eve zoo which i try to keep to a minimal because i take pride in making things myself such as these strollers i want to make sure that everything that i had just the biggest brain fart i think but yeah i want to make sure that I'm giving proper credit to the people who've made the the pieces or the blueprints that I've been using. So, so far, it's the plushies. I've used some, well, vehicles actually from different blueprints. So, I'm going to put those in the, on, in the description. And I have used not that much, actually. Again, like, I try to keep it to a minimal when it comes to, like, downloading blueprints. Because I take pride in making things myself. But yeah, everything when it comes to blueprints that I've used will be down in the description. And with that being said, we have reached the end of the video. So I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe button if you want to see more. There's the notification button, but before that one starts working, I will stop torturing ants. Yeah, that's going to be for the next video. Which is going to make zero sense. But anyways... Have a wonderful day, guys, and see ya.